One, two, three. Story Pop! <laughs> well, hello there. It's another beautiful day here in Story Pop Land. I see you there, Popper. How are you today? Well, that's wonderful to hear. How am I? How thoughtful of you to ask. I'm doing great, thank you. I was looking so forward to another lovely day of learning together. Well, before we get this pop party started, would you like to begin with our positive thought of the day? I like the way you think. It's a beautiful way to start the day. Okay, repeat after me. I am grateful. I am giving. And I am a very good human. Aw, that was so well said. Do you know what it means to be grateful? Being grateful is another way of saying that you're thankful. You can be thankful or grateful for all sorts of stuff, like the special people in your life, the yummy food that you get to eat, your favorite toy, even your cozy bed. Know what I'm grateful for? I'm grateful to get to be with you right now. And we have so much goodness ahead. I believe it's time for us to get pop, pop, poppin'. Here we go. It's time to learn the letter of the day. Today's letter is groovy. Good-hearted and well-groomed. Any ideas as to which letter it is? Yes, you are correct. I am so glad that you guessed that. It's the letter G. Oh, G, you are such a gift to us. A glorious gift indeed. G. Can you say this? G. Generally speaking, the letter G makes two different sounds. The hard G sound, as in gum, and the soft G sound, as in giraffe. Excuse me, but is that a giraffe chewing gum? Well, there's a first time for everything. Can you think of some words that begin with the letter G? I heard that. Ghost. Ooh, spooky answer. Guitar. More music to my ears. Game. Well played. Globe. How about a round of applause, please? Galaxy. Your answer was out of this world. How about a few words that make the soft G sound? J. Gentle. Gymnasium. And giant. Whew, that is a huge answer. I nearly gasped hearing the greatness of all of your answers. What about names? Should we think of a few names that begin with the letter G, making the hard G sound? G. That's G. Okay, you go first. Gabe. Greta. Greg. Grant. Gwen. And Grace. Good job. How about some names that begin with the soft G or the J sound? Gemma, very nice. Gina and Giovanni, excellent choice. Golly gee, you did it again. We genuinely exceeded our goal with the letter G today. G, we're so grateful to get to know you, but I'm sorry to tell you this, we have to go. Goodbye, G. Goodbye. 
Let's get this pop art garden party started by constructing a paper flower together. Here's what you'll need. Colorful construction paper or color your own. Safety scissors, glue. I have both a glue stick and regular Elmer's glue. A marker and a cup. Look at how pretty this three-dimensional paper flower is. You'll begin by cutting four strips of paper, approximately an inch to an inch and a half wide. These are going to be your flower petals. Next, fold your four strips in half like so, and cut. Now, carefully round the corners to create your eight beautiful flower petals. Take a stack of four petals at a time and make a tiny center cut, approximately half an inch in length. These measurements don't need to be exact. They're meant just to give you a rough idea, so don't worry. Now with your glue stick, dab a small amount on either side of the cut. Slightly overlap them as you see here and press down for a moment to secure these two sides together. I find the glue stick to be a bit tackier and to dry much more quickly. Repeat this step on all eight of your petals. Now let's push your petals off to the side so they have time to dry. Next up, we need to create your flower center. I trace the bottom of a cup twice and then cut out both circles. I'm using my marker to give the center of my flower some character with several hand-drawn dots. Dots are optional. Do whatever makes you feel inspired. Maybe a smiley face even. You'll then add some glue to your other circle so we can begin gluing on the petals. Ooh la la, it's starting to look like a flower. Once all of your petals are in place, add glue to the bottom of your flower center and place it right on top of your petals. Use your marker or fingers to gently press the flower center in place. Now it's time to curl your flower petals. For a loose curl, use a marker. For a tighter curl, use something thinner like a pencil. Last but not least, it's time to create your flower stem and leaves. You can see here that I've folded and then cut my green piece of construction paper, and I've taken one half and set it aside to use for my stem. I'll then fold the other half for my two leaves. With a marker, draw a curved line like so, and cut. Look at your lovely leaves! I'm adding a bit of detail to my leaves with my marker. A few little lines really give it some more detail. With your final piece of paper, you can either keep it plain or add some more detail with your marker. Now, roll it up to match the approximate size of your flower center. Add glue to secure in place. I've decided to use my glue stick again because it seems to work a lot better for this project. And here we go with our flower assembly. We have a stem and leaves. And look at that. It can even stand up. The final step is the trickiest part, so be sure to ask an adult for help if you need it. Flip your flower over and add some glue around the edge like this, and place it right on top of your stem. Sometimes you need a couple of tries to get it to line up just right. Now, it'll take about 30 minutes or more for your glue to completely dry, but once it does, it'll look just like this. Ta-da! Flower power! If you're feeling really inspired, you can make an entire garden of flowers. Beautiful job, Popper. You are so talented. Scavenger Pop. Scavenger Pop, Pop, Pop. It's time for another round of Scavenger Pop. Are you ready to explore Scavenger Popper? In case you're new around here, here's how to play. We'll set our scavenger pop time clock for one minute. And let's see how many things you can find in your own surroundings that are the color yellow. Are you ready? You're on the hunt for anything you can find around you that's the color yellow. Good luck. The time starts now.
do? Whoa, looks like someone found a banana. Great job. And yes, dandelions are yellow. Fantastic work. A yellow school bus. The great answers just keep rolling in. Wait a minute, what else do we have here? A yellow lemon, yellow corn, a lot of food today. Do I see yellow sunflowers? Well, we're pretty big fans of sunflowers around here. Hmm, what do you think we should search for next time? You always come up with the best ideas. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep those ideas safe right here under my hat. Come on, Popper, it's time to pop on over to our next stop. Ladies and gentlemen, Matilda Edelbaum. Good evening, everyone, good evening. So good to be here again, darlings. A thought with pondering, being alone. Am I truly by myself when I am standing on my own? For I am with me, I can clearly see. There is only one person here, not two or four or three. Being with myself is company I rather enjoy. There have been times I've been with others who truly do annoy. When I am with me, I feel light and carefree. When I entered the world, I made my entrance with thee. I very much like the thoughts that I think. If I like them enough, I put them in ink. Being with myself brings a smile to my face. And it doesn't matter where I am, even in outer space. If I stood alone on the moon, upon the stars I would gaze. I'd be in awe of planet Earth through the bright and twinkling haze. All of the people below wildly scurrying about. Pay attention to me, pay attention to me. They all seem to shout. Pay attention to yourself is what I long to say. And love yourself so preciously in every single way. Ask your heart good questions and discover who you are. The truth is, my darling, you're made of what's inside of these very stars. So never ever worry when you're standing on your own. Your best friend lives inside of you. You're never ever alone. Matilda B. signing off with love from deep inside my heart. Love yourself this very day. Don't be afraid to start. Oh, darlings, you are enough. You are truly enough. And I love you. I love you all. Mwah. Mwah. Good night. Good night, my darling angels. Good night. Wow, where am I? Wait a second. It's Cryer Dental in Las Vegas. Oh, and look, there's Dr. Cryer. She's a dentist and she is so nice. Did I mention that she gives the best hugs too? So what are dentists? Dentists are doctors who help care for our teeth and mouth. While we're here, let's go find out more about what dentists do and what it's like to visit the dentist. First up, this spaceship. I, I mean, the x-ray machine, of course. This takes pictures of your teeth so dentists can see them on the inside. And what's this? The dental chair, a TV, nothing like tuning into Story Pop while you're in for a checkup, huh? It looks like you have some special tools that you use, Dr. Cryer. Will you please tell us more about them? Yeah. Okay, which one is this one? This one is a mirror, and I can see inside your mouth with my mirror. Right now I can only see my eyeball. This is the one sometimes people get worried about. Okay. This one finds holes in your teeth. Can okay. I see your finger now? Yes. Does that hurt? No. It won't hurt you, but it will help me find any bad guys inside your teeth. What's that do? 
So it sounds like a little vacuum. It's a That's little tiny hearing. vacuum for your own spit. Okay, so when you're working inside of someone's mouth, you can use your little vacuum to take out any of the saliva or yep. any of the spit um, so that you can do your job better, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay, and then does that also flush with water? It can. It can? And we have water right here. Oh. Oh, whoa, <laughs> look at that. Wow, you can put out fires and everything. <laughs> Dr. Cryer, could you kindly teach us how to properly brush and floss our teeth in between our checkups? We do want to use toothpaste. There are special things in toothpaste that can make your teeth stronger. Okay. And then I have a toothbrush. Toothbrushes have different sizes. The smaller your mouth, the smaller the toothbrush. This is a timer. Yeah. You should be brushing your teeth for two minutes. Just turn it over. And that's how long I get to brush my teeth. That's really cool. There's different surfaces to your teeth, so I want you to get all the pieces of the tooth. There is a front part. And I'm gonna go in here and brush the front part of my teeth. And then I'm gonna put the toothbrush right down here into the pink part and brush right along there. And that's, that's the, gu the gum line, right? Right at the gum line. Each tooth gets a wiggle, 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 a wiggle, 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 and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You want to feel the bristles of your toothbrush, but if you push too hard, they won't work. Okay. So if it doesn't tickle, you're not doing it right. Okay. Then there's a top part of your teeth, and then there's a tongue part to your teeth. Yep. The back side of your teeth, right up, at, uh, up. so I'll be the tongue. Yep. This is the tongue right yep. here. So if we're gonna use floss that comes in a string, we wanna have enough because I'm going to wrap it around these fingers and I'm gonna wrap it around these fingers. Okay. And then when I come between my teeth, I wanna hug my tooth like this because the bacteria hangs out on your tooth and in your gums right here. And then I massage down one side and up. And then I massage down the other side and up. Ooh. Well, I just learned how to do a better job of flossing myself. Thanks for that, Dr. Cryer. You're welcome. You can see that I'm in great hands here at Dr. Cryer's office. Not only is she a fantastic dentist, she and her caring staff are a whole lot of fun. Thank you, Dr. Cryer, for everything you do. Holy gumdrops! What a grand day! Raise your hand if you had a good time. Touch your nose if you learned something new. Now, touch your toes if you can't wait to do it again. Well, before I poppity pop on out of here, do you happen to remember our positive thought of the day? Of course you do. Would you like to join me in saying it again before we sign off? Great! Here we go. Repeat after me. I am grateful. I am giving. I am a very good human. Indeed you are. Thank you so much for popping in today, Popper. Oh, and don't forget, be on the lookout for Story Popper sightings. You know what that is. That's someone spotted reading a book. Ask a grown-up to snap your picture while reading a book and send it our way. And you just might end up on a future episode of Story Pop. How fun would that be? Um, I am pretty sure it would be a whole lot of fun. The same goes for your pop art, too. If you had fun today, it would mean so much to me if you would take a moment and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much, Popper. You make it a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye!